Hey, it's Elizabeth, Countess of Low Carb, and on this episode, we're going to talk about 24-hour fast coupled with OMAD Keto, coming up next. Hey guys, it's Elizabeth, Countess of Low Carb, and on this episode, we're going to talk about a 24-hour fast with OMAD Keto. As always, dance your fingers down and click like on this video if you like it. Click subscribe and make sure you sign up for my free, yes, I said free, weekly Wednesday weight loss email where you get your free keto diet meal plan emailed to you along with my free intermittent fasting schedule. It's my gift to you as the Countess of Low Carb Community. Let's dive into talking about a 24-hour fast with OMAD Keto, one meal a day. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about prep for a 24-hour fast. I like to prep my fast where I break, I think with the end in mind of when I'm going to break that fast. And I like to break my fast around one or two o'clock during the day. That helps me um, parlay through the nighttime and parlay through the morning time the next day. That's been really, works really well for me. For 24 intermittent, 24 hour intermittent fasting for you may look a little bit different. So I would encourage you test your body, be a little guinea pig and test different things. So my tip number one is prep the night before. Here's an example of one of my keto meals that I have before I start my 24 hour fast. was just an example. It was from Longhorn. I had a big fatty steak because I like to have a keto meal, which is high fat, moderate protein, low carb. So with that, the, I make sure I eat the fat on the steak. And usually I'll ask for butter on the side and make sure it's not honey butter from like Longhorn. I did not get finishing sauce on my steak from Longhorn because that can have creepy carbs and I want to be intentional about that. So I had my steak, which was my high fat, moderate protein, and then my low carb veggie, I did have a salad with that, which did have the fat from the salad dressing. However, those salad dressings do have creepy carbs in the soybean oil. So I do wanna share that with you. That was a conscious choice on my part to have that low carb veggie with the salad dressing, but knowing that that soybean oil can be inflammatory and cause puffery. So setting yourself up the night before for having good meal prep um, with a ketogenic diet meal, that for me is tip number one. Tip number two is I have that fast, that's my last meal, starting at one or two, and then that parlays into the nighttime activities. I look at my schedule and my planner before I start a fast to figure out when my start time is going to be, so when my end time is going to be. With that, knowing at nighttime, do I have family activities with my three-year-old, with our foster mentee, with my hot husband? What activities do I have going on to set me up for success? If I have a big social function, I usually gear towards a 16 or 18 hour fast. I hope someday in the future that that won't be the case of where I can roll through my 24 hour fast, but with full honest integrity, I'm not there yet. So my next tip on that would be figuring out your time frames in which you're going to end your fast is part of that. I would say at nighttime, how I ride through it is having, knowing that that potentially can be a trigger and having tons of sparkling water. I love Perrier. I love Pellegrino. We have it delivered, sorry to our UPS guy. We have it delivered from Amazon. But recently I have purchased a soda stream with the glass bottles. I will put that in the description link below of what I got. I'm super excited about it. I, full disclosure, I haven't tried it yet because I was, as an environmentalist, even though I recycled these, I was worried about like, hundreds of bottles <laughs> consuming, it was a waste. So having the soda stream I know is going to help me have that, but that nighttime having that Pellegrino and knowing the second part at nighttime, my trigger, my emotional triggers can come at nighttime. So I am intentional to have extra self-care, meaning I have a bedtime. I know I have a set bedtime. I have a little alarm that goes off at eight o'clock after my little boy goes down. I start getting ready for bed, brushing my teeth, taking my makeup off, things like that to prevent me from eating, staying out of the kitchen. Kitchen. I stay on a different floor level from the kitchen. Two part of that of the nighttime is I have Epsom salt baths, that magnesium I need from the Epsom salt. So that helps with keto and particularly the Omad keto part of it with the magnesium. But I have with that um, sitting literally in water with my hands submerged. 
And it, it has come to that point to help me recreate new habits. It takes three weeks to make a new habit. So I need to ride through this new lifestyle, figuring out techniques. And that's one of the techniques that has worked extremely well for me. Also part of that is I use an exfoliator to help and like lotions and stuff like that. It keeps my hands busy. I can't, I can't eat if my hands are consumed. And that's, to be honest, where I am on my weight, my keto weight loss journey. I have lost a significant amount of weight. Here's my before and after. And I, one of the techniques that I personally use. So then we have go through the nighttime on our 24 hour intermittent fast. And we're still going along with this OMAD, right? Having our, our one meal a day keto is in the morning. I wake up and I order from Starbucks this. Can I please get a Trenta iced green tea with no classic? Okay. And then can I also please get, um, just a Trenta iced coffee with no classic and super, super light on the heavy cream in, in that one. Anything else? That's it. Thanks. I get a Trenta iced coffee and my awesome green tea. If you didn't see my interview with Megan Ramos, that is in the description link below on my intermittent fasting playlist. But Megan talked about working with Dr. Fung with that green tea may or may not be stopping autophagy. She had it on her 100 pound weight loss and green tea did not affect her autophagy. We know that coffee, we think we know that coffee does. Anything else? I make sure that my meal is a good one um, and that I'm really, really enjoying it. And if you want some meal ideas, sign up for my free weekly keto meal plan down in the description link below. But from that, I will have something. This is an example of how I broke my fast. And it was from Five Guys. And I know eating out, I have eat out a lot less, but sometimes I do eat out if I'm on a business trip or out and about. And this just happened to me my lifestyle when I was filming this, was traveling a bunch. So I had Five Guys and that was a low carb meal. It was high protein, high fat. I did have it with the mayonnaise and the Five Guys mayonnaise does have soybean oil. So just being cognizant of that, that like that was an intentional choice. I could have had a better choice of making my own mayonnaise, having primal mayonnaise, having chosen mayonnaise. Those are different mayonnaise that are made out of avocado oil, not soybean oil. That was one of the, that, that was what I happened to have. And I had it with mushrooms because those are a lower carb vegetable. And I had it with pickles too. If you're having electrolyte issues during my eating windows is when I have pickles is what to help boost my electrolytes. I will also have my supplements during there. Now, some of you have asked me a little bit about macros and tracking your macros with the ketogenic diet by doing a mod. I don't, and this is one of the reasons why I love doing the 24 hour fast with OMAD keto is it's coupled together, um, is that the macros, I don't have to track them. Like I'm having one meal a day. I may be having a lot of food during that time. And some people probably who are watching this video might be more experienced than I am, but this is where I am on my journey. Like this is being authentic and real and like, here it is. Hopefully that helps encourage folks out there that some people may be like, oh, that's too much food, but that's what my body has needed to have success with OMAD and to have success with fasting. Um, there has been studies done uh, and Megan had talked about this, Megan Ramos with the, working with Dr. Fung, the daddy of intermittent fasting. So would she be the mama of intermittent fasting? <laughs> um, when, during that interview, we had talked a little bit about OMAD stops working after the two or three month time frame. So switching up times, varying times for me is definitely what I've incorporated in, but have seen great success with OMAD and how it has morphed my body. Like literally it's crazy to me how this has helped change my body. If you are not there yet for one meal a day, literally a year ago, I had first, was it a year ago or two years ago? A year and a half. I'm forgetting the time frame. I've done keto for two years. I was afraid until recently, the past few months to start doing OMAD. And so now I feel like I have the confidence under my belt. It took a while. So if you're not there yet, 
great. Just keep going. Keep going with where you are. Um, you will catch up at some point. It, that was my experience. And if you're at OMAD, you will catch up probably if you keep practice. This is all a practice thing. Practicing fasting, intermittent fasting over and over and over and over. You, you get good at it. You learn different tricks. You may go for a 36-hour fast. My highest is a 50-hour fast. I'd like to get to eventually a 72-hour fast. Multiple, not just one, multiple 72-hour fasts can help the immune system, but it is multiple 72-hour fasts. So that's my ultimate goal is to eventually get to that point to help with my immune system and being intentional about that. But for now, I'm loving a 24-hour intermittent fasting with keto. The ketogenic lifestyle of not spiking our insulin has been amazing. And um, it's not painful. I thought it was going to be painful having an eating disorder background, it's not. Really, it's not. It's been actually very enjoyable. I get way more work accomplished. I'm super productive with my seven businesses, and I'm able to be more present with people because I'm not focused in on food or in the back of my mind thinking about food. So hopefully this video has helped you. I would love for you to sign up for my free weekly meal plan because I will be having a free intermittent fasting workshop. It will be coming out soon. It will be in mid-June of this year. I've been working for months on this workshop. It's going to be a lot of, it's going to be an, a fasting party. So more details on that later, but make sure you're on my email list so you can get those details as I release them because it's going to be fun. Um, if you like this video, make sure you click like and share it with a buddy, right? Sharing is caring. If you have somebody who's just started keto or been doing keto for a little while, share this with them about the concept of OMAD, one meal a day. I had no idea until someone shared it with me. So give that gift to somebody else who's doing low carb or the ketogenic diet of knowledge right? Or give them the gift of knowledge of intermittent fasting. If maybe intermittent fasting folks don't know more about the low carb lifestyle of it's all about insulin management, baby, for weight loss. So let's make it a powerful day and put the question of your day, my friends, before we make it a powerful day. The question of the day, my friends, is what is your goal this week for fasting? I would love to know. It motivates me reading the positive comments. Um, I would love to see what are you doing on your journey? Put it in the description link below. Put it in the comments below. Make it a powerful day. Bye, guys. Bye.